Uh, okay, so we're gonna go back to her train. Hey, uh hey. Okay, so the reason why we're doing this is a couple of reasons. One, uh, items in the shop cheaper, not really that helpful. Really? Ow. Okay, there we go. Could return with one item when dying. Means I'm gonna have a baseline 10 crit, uh, some amount of evasion, and I'm gonna be able to take stuff with me. Okay, so we get the Charm of Madness. It's not as good as the Ring of Madness, but that's okay. Shop. Um, I mean, let's just grab the boomerang. Let's see. And we'll grab the silver ring. Grabbing everything, honestly, is fine. Anyway, so we're gonna go also bless an item. And we get, oh. Huh. Merry Christmas. Wait, can you always get the discount on starting shop because respect is free? Yes, it is. How did the super defense build go last night? Really well. Anyway. Oh, it's you. Unfortunately, oh wait, no, I do have money. Food shop. Okay, so we don't care about that. What we want to look into is crit. If it's ever above 5% crit, I want to go crit. The main question is, what the hell do I... Well, I mean, I could go crit anyway. I could go attack speed. Or I could just go power. Because my power, my baseline power is only at 26%. Okay, so we're going Because going elemental on the Christmas tree is actually not that helpful. Let's see. This sword is good for Lotus. She does higher damage every time you hit the same enemy. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that would be good. I'll have to look... Well, here's the thing. I can actually keep it with me. Yeah, let's go... Let's go power... Uh, max health ain't worth it. Power and crit. Because here's the thing, I'm hoping I can find another, uh, dagger. Max health is useful, um, but I kind of want to just crush things if I can't. I don't know, anyway. I love this sword, it's dumb. I feel like I'm attacking faster with it, too. I might be. I really wish I could knock enemies into the... Well, he's gone. He just checked out for some reason. Oh. Hey, healing fairy. Sort of. Yeah, I'm curious what the mystic bonus exactly does. Because if I can actually take this with me, uh, we're going to just go do a number of Christmas tree builds. Uh, we're going to perfect the Christmas tree until I find something better. Okay, uh, let's see. We don't want to go out the exit. Oh, we just want to go out to the left. Now I'm curious about a, a couple of combos that I can pull with this thing. Because I might be able to become, like, really ridiculous. Okay. You can. You kept your legendary weapon. Okay. This is going to get scary. Because, yeah. If, uh, if this weapon is really good on Rose, then I'd like to give Rose a shot. With the, uh, with the Christmas tree. Just do a couple of crazy Christmas runs. Miracles. Crim, 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 happy Chrysler. There we go. Anyway.
I think I destroyed the arrow too. This is ridiculous. Okay, there's the throwing knife. There's the other half of the build. I like the boomerang too. I'll hold on to the boomerang, but uh, we can Christmas tree for speed and throwing dagger for, I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's see. So we already got the crit rate. The only other thing I would consider would be crit damage rate, but nah, it's not worth it. Let's go with the speed. Okay, so I'm gonna more or less just be wrecking things for a while. Attack speed. I don't, so attack speed would be nice. That hurt. Attack speed would be nice. But I want to save as much space for power and crit as I can. So you already you always found the magical magical schoolgirl one to be better than the uh, daggers because of the homing effect. Uh, you're not wrong. Uh, the main reason why I like the throwing dagger is because you can do, uh, crit cannon business. That you can't really do with pretty much any other weapon. And it's really satisfying. Yeah, this is why I'm holding onto the throwing dagger. There we go. Yeah, we're getting a lot of stuff. Be nice if I could actually, like, uh, get that Healy ring again. Let's see, is this a different adventure? Yes! You unlock a costume shop once you reach hell. Ish. See if this thing does more damage with each successive hit, then attack speed should help too. Uh, sort of. So the reason why I generally shy away from attack speed is, um... It's, uh... It's baseline. The, the damage increase that you're gonna do... I bet you could do the math for it, but it's a 5% attack speed increase generally versus a 10% damage increase. It's like the 10% damage increase will always be better uh, just because of just boring math. Better chance for crits. Yeah, but like... It, it's a better chance for crits versus your crits doing more uh, more damage. Like, you can math it any way, shape, or form, but the higher the bonus that you can get, the more important that one is. The other, the other problem is, like, the attack speed is kind of random, whereas attack power is a very consistent value every time we, you go to the shop. eating these. She needs to die. Did the other guy just die? I have no idea. Wander pick up the resist. Uh, you don't need the resist until you hit hell. Like... Oh, I evaded the spikes on the ground. That's funny. Um, hell is the, hell is the first and... Possibly only place that you actually need the, uh, the resistance bonus. So I'd kind of probably prefer to get that later. I guess the, uh, the one trade-off is, of course, uh, you might need it by then. I'll probably get it in the ice area. I wanted to get, uh, power first. Zvi, no, none of these are any good. I don't think we need the bomb bag. I'd like to stack more crit, if possible. Don't care about shock. Can't sell the short sword. Okay. Oh, wait, no. We're right here. And yeah, I could fit another buff on, but I think I'm just gonna leave it for the next floor. Or floor, floor after that. Okay. Wait, was Tengus's hammer there? Fuck. I'm sorry. I wasn't even braining, I just saw Hammer. I... Uh... Well, hopefully it'll show back up. 
He is doing that constantly. Whatever, I'll just hit him. Can you tell my head's not quite in the game here? I'm getting distracted. I, the problem is, um... Uh, my problem is when, when people start, like, um... When I start debating people, like, uh, telling me to get X or Y, my brain immediately goes into, like, discussing... the merits of it. And I stop focusing on what I actually need to focus on. I'm not saying, like, don't question me, but, like... I get real forgettable when I'm, like, trying to discuss, uh, X versus Y. Anyway, that sucked, but, oh well. I really wish it wasn't a hammer. Like, my baseline assumption is hammer. It's a weapon. I think it's, I think that's the only, um, I think that's the only accessory that is, is, like, categorically a weapon. Um, and it throws me off every time, because I see it, and it's confusing. Not enough room for gameplay with your genius. New! No. If anything, there's not enough Wanderbot for gameplay. I am... I'm not... I'm not dumb, but I get, like, really bad tunnel vision all the time. Because that's just kind of who I am and how I operate. And if we're lucky, it'll show back up again. If we're not, we get another shot at this later or something. I don't know. I mean, it'll always show back up. It's just the question of will it show up on this run? And the answer is I really hope so. Would have sucked. Uh, Would have been better if I could get two, though. Because, yeah, if I could get two, I'd be, oh boy, critting like crazy. Yeah, because currently I'm only at 30%. And if I'd gotten that hammer, it'd be at 50 <sighs> I'm beating myself up for my decisions. Please have it again. Nope, cowhide armor. Oh, interesting. Okay, um... Lose the movement speed. Yeah, none of the rest of these are any good. I'll take the cowhide armor. There's a little bit of defense. Goes a long way. Still haven't found the... Still haven't found the shop yet. Okay, we get the green bat. Green bat's not bad with this. Yeah, let's get the green bat over the... Um... We'll get the green bat over the ring of power. Okay, this room just kind of bites. Okay, right. We did lose our blessing, so... I should be just dumping things in here. I'd like to hold on to the shuriken, but I don't think I'm going to be using it for this. The Christmas tree is just too much AoE for me. The need for anything more, okay, is limited. Okay, so we've got, yep, we've got more than enough, so let's get, keep getting power, keep getting crit. Ugh, it's not very good crit, though. So are there any time constraints for this game? Nope. You are never timed, from what I can tell. Which is really nice. Okay, I don't see anything else here. There's the health. Wee. See, what's the cowhide armor do? Uh, it's just armor and uh, movement speed. Oh, yeah, I guess you can double double dash on the jump. In short succession too. Let's see, from what you can tell, there's not unlimited progression in this game. Nope. There's not fully unlimited progression, but, uh... The limits are fairly high. You'll probably get bored of this game before you hit the progression cap. 
probably. Which is appreciated. Yeah, so the last time I had the Christmas tree, I went really hard on, um, on elemental attack. I'm finding it looks like, uh, it wasn't really worth... It's It doesn't seem like it's worth putting points into poison. Because it looks like poison's tick rate is almost always just one. There we go. Anything else? Nope. We're free. Back to Christmas! Yeah, that's the other thing. Enemies barely have any time to be poisoned to begin with. Let's lose... Oh, wait, no. That's that's cowhide armor. What am I doing? Oh, I could lose the Charm of Madness. It's not like I actually have that much madness right now. Yeah, it's, it's rare that you're actually going to poison a uh, an enemy for very long. I think for me, I'd rather rather just focus on flat damage so I can wander around and wreck things. Okay, so let's up our power a little bit. A little bit of max health redu reduction, but that's okay. The more power I got, the more the sword, the the more damage the sword's gonna do. Because if I can get every one of those hits to crit for about twenty, uh, you know, hit for ten, crit for twenty, uh, this thing might actually end up being one of the most powerful weapons in the game. Mostly those just kind of a forced exploration room is kind of boring. Yeah, unfortunately, there's a number of rooms like that where it's just like it, it's a trap room, but like. It just becomes tedious because it's not very hard to get through. And I'm not sure if I'd ever want... I, I'm not sure I'd ever want the trap rooms to become particularly dastardly. Ow. Because then it would just feel like you're being punished for just bad RNG. I don't know. My opinions are kind of neither here nor there on empty rooms. They, they're just boring. I guess. I prefer combat. If you're gonna give me an empty room, I'd I'd almost prefer it if it was like a mystery machine style. Like, I don't know, I assume many of you guys watching this video, this stream, this whatever, have seen, um, have seen me play, uh, Slay the Spire at this point. And Slay the Spire has a lovely system where it's like, oh yeah, uh, you wanna... You want to either fight things, shop, rest at a bonfire, or here's mystery rooms. What do the mystery rooms do? Anything. Uh, you know, could be an enemy, could be a surprise mid-boss with, like, a payout at the end. Bunch of things. And it feels really good. Uh, because, like, there's kind of that random element of, like, yeah, what am I going to get when I walk into this room? And, um... Oh. It's boss fight time. Oh. Did I forget to eat? I'm fine. Okay, there we go. There she is. Wallop her. Really hard. I'm probably gonna just switch to a throwing knife here. It's a bit more reliable. For, uh, for hitting her, uh, her platforms and stuff. I don't know. I think the Christmas tree might do more damage, though. Right. I was going to, uh... I was going to, uh, get the anti-buff. Whatever. Doesn't matter. So you can knock most projectiles out of there. Yep. Every time this sword, quote-unquote, hits, it knocks a new projectile out of the air. So this thing is... Hey, Hammer of Tengus. Okay. Um, if I had gotten the other Hammer of Tengus, then that would make me really stupid. I'd be at a 70% crit rate. Uh, unfortunate. That's fun. Yeah, the one problem with Slay the Spire is it doesn't give you agency over your deck. You can't pick 
kind of the run you want to do. Whereas, like, right now, I got the Christmas tree, and I'm just like, well, Christmas tree. Merry Christmas. Happy Chrysler. I don't know why somebody made that video, but it, it's great. Makes me so happy. God, that, the knockback on the reach and the reach on this sword is ridiculous, too. It's like, have you ever knocked back a flower? Here you go. Whoops. Well, let's hope that there was no gold reward there. Yeah, I could have I could have had two. I uh, I totally understand that like I messed up with the uh, hammer of Tangus, but at least we have one. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I could lose the bat. What do we think? Bat for maximum HP? Uh, I don't know. Okay. So, max health still not very good. So let's keep doing power and crit. Our crit is up to 62. That's exciting. Hello! I hate these thrower guys. The problem is they have semi-permanent accuracy. Oh, tower shield. This might almost be one of those situations where I switch over to the throwing knife at this point. Because 70% crit rate is not something to be sneezed at. I think you should have a run where I go max attack speed on the tree. I can try it. I mean, I can try a lot of different run types. I So far, the tree is the most expensive thing that I have in my inventory anyway. So I could keep it with me, or... That accuracy leaves something to be desired. Once it gets to 80%, you should go crit damage. Nah, man, 100%. The main problem is crit damage is, uh, it's only a 5% boost. Uh, there's actually no point in getting crit damage ever. Just keep pumping power. Because, um... If the crit damage was more like a 15% increase, then I'd be down for it, but since it's... Since, uh, it's only like 5% at a time, it's just like, well... You're gonna let you're gonna do less damage. It's, it's dumb. I I feel like they need to rethink some of the some of the value on the perk points from food. Oh, can't open during battle. Twang, twang, motherfucker. Okay, what's the other one? That works well enough. What is that? Blessing of Sage. Uh, sure. Why not? Bye, Bat. Hello, this. <laughs> Accessory. The wise man strokes your head. So that does hurt my, uh, max damage a little bit. But that's fine. Anything else? Yes, we want to go up. And what do you have? Be hilarious if we just got uh, hammers of Tengus up the, the wazoo forever. Yeah, so I think I'll keep the Christmas tree with me. I mean, this is the crit crit run that I've been hoping to do. It's impossible to hit. You can jump off the ledge to the right and fall off the screen. I assume that ends poorly for me. If I do that. I'm a little bit leery about just flinging myself into the void. Okay, well, I guess we're done with this one. Go up here. Let's see, Bloodstone Ring. Okay. So I should probably get the Bloodstone Ring. 
Because eh. having healing in the middle of these runs seems really helpful. It'd be lovely if I could get like a. It'd be lovely if I could get like a damage vampirism. Oh, I'd be unstoppable. No. I'm actually really surprised that there's no um, accessories that grant you. There's no accessories that give you. Uh, what am I thinking? Come on, brain. Uh, attack speed or anything like that. And thank you for the resub, Tommy. Okay, so what can I tribute? Green bat. Uh, chain armor. Charm of madness. Keep the magic shield. Leather armor. And great sword. Don't have to worry too much about. Don't have to worry too much about uh, defense to some degree with this shield on. And my defense is at 36. I could pump it higher. I mean, we could get it up to a straight 50. Uh, but I think the only defense-related armor I'm going to put on at this point is probably going to be the dwarven armor just for the uh, toughness. Because toughness is stupid. And thank you for the resub, wide hammer. And the other thing we could do is just pop on all of the armor, lose a little bit of crit, and just go back to Krimis. I missed the way down over here. No, it's doing something. See, you could buy items and just shove them in the altar. I could. Part of it is I don't care too much about the the blessing. Now that I know it's not some kind of like cool permanent effect, my like interest in it waned a little. Seven point two crit. Yes. Ah, huh. I was expecting more enemies in here. Okay. That's, I think I would have had pretty much 100% if I had gotten that first hammer of Tengus. I wonder if you can actually find multiple hammers of Tengus in a run. Or if, like, if I had gotten the first one, if it would have pre precluded the second. Oh, there's a sneaky snake. That is a sneaky snake. Yeah, I'm sure the blessing is really good. It's just, we've already got the the Christmas sword, so, like, what I'm probably going to do is hold the blessing until I'm sick of the, uh, until I'm sick of Christmas. You know, until the war on Christmas is over. The war of Christmas? I don't know. Battle Christmas. Wonder have you ever tried to get a Bitcoin? Nope. I have no interest in unreliable financial, uh, currencies or otherwise. Because, uh, to be totally honest... I have an unre unreliable financial situation already, owing to the fact that, you know, I have a crazy job. You get in the poison hole. But, so, my desire generally to, like, mess around with stuff like, uh, Bitcoin and whatever is pretty much negligible. Instead, I mess around with boring, reliable stuff like index funds. I am an uninteresting adult. But at least I won't be too poor when I'm old. Max health would be nice. But let us get yet more power. Okay, and... Actually, I've got some health right over here. Where's the health? Let's see, I guess let's just head for the exit. I could go back for that one health, but I don't think I need it. Hello. Sup, Tunok? King of Lizard Man. Probably shouldn't have just stood right there. Okay. 
Evasion's pretty good. I'm just gonna rely on these, because I think they do a little bit more damage than the, um... Yep, there we go. Okay, index funds aren't boring. I mean, they're boring, that's the point of them. Index, fun index funds are really good, but they're not exciting currency. Everybody's really into Bitcoin, because it's this, like, hot thing. Um, and I mean, it's worth a lot, and if you've gotten in on Bitcoin early, you, you'd have a lot of money. I, like, I'm not going to disrespect those, but I'm also going to point out, oh boy, if you've got an unstable financial situation, do you not want to invest in Bitcoin? Okay, so I'm at an 82. Okay, that is some hella math. Ugh. All because I couldn't hit him. Okay. With that tree, base damage is 2 to 4, plus 90%, 3 to 7. Crit. Okay. I'm trying to go through your math, math scribble to understand exactly what you're talking about, but uh, oh boy. I don't actually know which weapon I should be using here. I like the throwing... The throwing dagger might work better. Yeah, you know what? Throwing dagger is probably going to be my better boss killer, but the, uh... Krimis. Uh, assault on Krimis is, uh, probably the better, like, level clearing item. Because I can knock enemies around and, like, really just smack them. Because melee enemies can't get to me. And, yeah, okay. So far, this is working out a little bit better. It's just real scary. I need some more damage. I got him. Yeah. I really hate her. It really depends on what I'm up against. I should use my throwing knives against ranged enemies and my... melee... Uh, against melee enemies, probably. Oh, good. Healing. I also gotta remember uh, to switch out my ring of healing when I'm up against the... Um, the boss. Because he is, um... He's unreliable. Well, maybe not unreliable. Unreliable isn't the right word, sorry. Brain is... Brain is farting. Um... I can't heal off of him, so what's the point? Fuck. I hate these things. The, uh... Throwing knives are just pure garbage against them. Hello. Because, yeah, I can't quite kill them. There we go. Okay, we're doing fine. I'm just scared and stressed. And scared, stressed, and a bunch of things. Okay. Get out of here. I think whatever gold he had is gone forever. Merry Christmas. Let's see. How are we doing? We might not actually be able to do a third run until uh, until later. Part of the problem is I'm getting better at this game. Uh, so, because I'm getting better, it's making it a little bit more difficult for me to... Um, It's becoming more difficult for me to... Let's see, it's just another one of these guys. Just outside of their range, I think. And or I can stun lock them. There we go. Okay, yeah, I'm getting better at this game, which means my runs are getting longer. 
Which is good, but also problems. Okay, ah, uh, crit, 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 5.1. I'll take it. Puts me at 86. More crit? Monocle. Hmm. Do we do monocle? Uh, yeah. We want to do monocle. I could get rid of the Blessing of the Sage for three. No, Blessing of the Sage is incredible, actually. I never want to get rid of that. I will get the monocle, though, because uh, I can always toss it on when we're fighting the boss. And you know what? Oh, wait, no, no, no. We already found the altar? Yes. Let's go sack a bunch of the random junk. Cowhide armor. I will throw these. Okay, there we go. That's better. So, is that it? That's it for the floor. I can't get another food power buff, but I guess I don't need one. My health is looking good, actually. Health's looking real good. I just gotta stay away from the little bomby bombertons. They're annoying. Yeesh. Never seen that set up before. It was scary. It's just like, look up. Oh, there's an arcade of archers. Yeah, don't forget fire protection. Yep, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that on this one. Avoiding the fire damage uh, on this floor. I'd like the extra crit for. Like, oh, just getting up to 100% crit would be incredible. <sighs> Suck a duck, Cerberus. Go back to your, well, I don't know, Hades. Okay, health is looking fine. It wasn't exactly the proudest of situations, but it worked. Okay, and we get the Watcher. Not particularly helpful. Ah! Surrender Ghost is not fun. There's also that trap right there, which is really annoying. Okay. Fortunately, we've taken some damage. Not happy about. Yep, yeah, you're right. Can traverse that without taking damage. Okay, so we don't get the treasure chest up up above. Yeah, so I had to kill the ghost lady first. Ugh, that was a... Ugh. None of that was good. Oh, that's okay. I'm so glad I can interrupt them. Okay, I gotta kill Cerberus and then Fire Plant. Okay, and we're good. Let me see. Do we have enough? We have enough for the food buff. My HP is looking good. I probably should have left that big one there. And this was a no-name-nothing room. Let's see. Oh, there's a treasure... Oh, we know. We know where that treasure chest is. We know how to get to it. Okay, so I'm going to be going into the boss fight with full health. That's helpful. Food buff. Got to get the bim -a bop 
And that's about the best I can do. <sighs> Stressed. Okay, so let's take off the Bloodstone Ring. You guys gotta help me remember to put it back on. After. Tribute those. Good to go. Wish me luck, because I don't have any. Want to remember, breathe in, breathe out. Uh, if I sound kind of out of breath, it's actually just because I'm out of breath. Um, I'm really stuffy today. And so my, like... My, uh... Ow. My ability to breathe is kind of hampered. Which sucks. Okay, I gotta remember I can also block. Which is helpful. Ah. Okay, go back to hitting him. He's doing this again. We might have him as long as... No, come back! There he goes! Yay! What do we get? We get the Steel Warhammer and the Red Dragon Killer will appear. Burn attack. Damage. That's a really good weapon. Flame Circus. Creates flames that circle around you. Neat. All right, so we've got our elemental resistance. We'll go from here. Uh, let's see, so what do we want to do? It's a weird, weirdly like peaceful area. Nothing particularly amazing here. Oh, that reminds me. Take this off, put this back on. Oh geez, I'm running late. Well. Dragon. And robots. Ah! Dragon, robots, and fuck! Bup! I was standing in landmine, didn't even realize. Okay, did I change the item again? Yes, we've got our bloodstone ring back on. Isn't this where the Christmas tree came from? Probably is. Huh, I barely do damage to these guys. Doggies! Robo doggies! Danger, robo doggies! Yeah, somebody in chat earlier was kind of mad that you couldn't find random item qualities of, like, weapons that you've already found. I am in full agreement with you. Like, I actually really wish, uh, you could find, like, uh, super rare throwing daggers and stuff, for example. This is cool. And I'm actually kind of disappointed that you can't. Because I think it would be awesome if you could find, like, really high-quality versions of, like, any weapon in the game. As it's just, like, a drop and it just has higher stats. I gotta remember, I've got an active block that I can do that blocks a lot of damage. Also got throwing daggers that don't hit shit ever. We iron armor. That's a wyvern. Shh. Semantics. How am I not dead yet? You really thought I'd be done for after this. I can knock around a gun gun emplacement. Funny. Ah! Oh. Ducked it. Ah! Missiles! Ah! Succubi! 
It's a Sam site. Uh-oh. What the hell is that other thing? <laughs> I didn't know I could do that. Don't think that this thing's actually any threat to me. Actually. Is that a Bastion turret? It does feel like this is kind of Overwatch inspired. With all the like Bastion turrets all over the place and I don't know, whatever. Hello! I was sure I was tinkering with guns until I was here all of a sudden. Oh, there are creatures here that aren't human out of here. Or there are cre there are creatures that aren't humans here. Could you perhaps take me someplace safer? We've saved Fiat, which is new. Seems like a really pretty place to have a uh, having a dungeon. Honestly, oh, it's just a flamethrower, just hanging out right there. Sure, why not? This might actually be easier than the fire fire zone. I assume the boss is going to make me eat those words. Oh, hi. Carpet bombing things. Ah! Get out of here! <laughs> I love the fact that I can just knock them around. That is just amusing to me. Let's see. Does Fiat do gun upgrades? I have no idea what Fiat does. I don't think I've really taken much damage here, which is kind of nice. I'm curious how many other townsfolk... I think there's probably one more townsperson I can get. Oh, oh, we're out of Bimba Bop. That, that's fine. I can live. So 7% crit, yeah. Because I'm trying to get this sword to hundo crit. And also, there's two, th there's two reasons why I'm still going crit. Uh, instead of, like, attack power or anything else. I want to see if I can get the, uh... Sword to crit, I'm curious what would happen if you, you get above 100%, if you can, because orange or red critting would be hilarious. And yeah, the missiles aren't a threat to me because my sword blocks all. These are really cool dog things, too. Wait, what? Where the heck? Oh, back here. Oh, did I take damage from that? I have no idea if I took damage. Ow! Nope, didn't take damage from that either. Oh, it's because I've got the, uh, I've got the toughness. My toughness is at one, so the, um, so the chain gun guys, who probably do a ton of damage, simply can't hurt me. I think. Six point nine. Okay, moment of truth. Hundred point two. So you can go above a hundred percent. I don't know what it does though. At this point, I'm gonna have to focus on power though for pure damage. Okay, these guys freaking hurt. Cannot take that uh, lightly. Okay, so let's just put up pretty much everything of the throwing knife, man. Gosh, all of these. I'm just gonna put up the cowhide armor. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be wearing it. We'll keep the monocle around. Get to infinicrit. Suck a dragon! Looks like I was able to kind of stun lock him. Unfortunately, you don't really get better loot after a certain point. 
Ugh. I hate those songstresses. And I'm dead. Finally. Well, that is good timing, because Bird is ready. Well, that was a good run. Oh, boy. Exit. Uh, no, no. I didn't want to exit. Oh, well, there goes the Christmas tree. I didn't even know what I was doing. Uh, come back. Whatever. I'll live. I got distracted. But it's fine. We, I mean, we over Christmas tree. Gunsmith! Weapons from Fiat's world will appear in the dungeon. Talk to the gunsmith before you enter the dungeon and you will get one useful item. So he makes guns. Huh. <laughs> Can you pick which item you come back with? Yes, but I made a mistake. However, oh well, whatever. Guns. So here's where all that reload speed is for. And also that character with the, uh, the straight up lightsaber. Ignores defense. Oh, fun. These all look fun. Oh, speed reloader. Reload speed. Adva available advanced reload. Yeah, looks like we're going to have some fun with this. Apparently there's still a lot of stuff to unlock on this game. And that's cool. 